Okay, um, if I can invite the next um, speaker, is is a British political activist and broadcaster, spokesman for the People's Assembly, uh, who organised the National March Against Australia a few months ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite John Rees to the stage. Thank you very much, Chair. And one of the reasons that I'm here representing the People's Assembly tonight is this. When we organised early in the summer 50,000 people to march through the centre of London protesting against austerity, look for Raman was on the front banner. Yeah. When as part of the Stop the War Coalition in the summer, we organised three demonstrations against the Israeli attack on Gaza. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of people marched to the centre of London. The biggest demonstration ever in this country on the question of Palestine. Yeah. Mayor Look for Raman was on the banner at the front. Yeah. But only a few weeks ago, down the road in York Hall, we organised the People's Question Time because we understand that the BBC Question Time doesn't let the people speak. <laughs> and 1,300 people turned up. Mayor Look for Raman opened the proceedings that evening. What other borough? <laughs> what other borough can you go to in this country where the mayor will come and greet an anti-austerity organisation into the heart of the borough? I tell you this, there's no other borough. And there's no other borough where if the mayor did it, he wouldn't be heckled by the audience for having the temerity to turn up. Because in every other borough, they're putting through austerity, not trying to stop it and ameliorate its effects. <laughs> so let's be clear. Eric Pickles and the Tory government are not after Tower Hamlets because of what it's done wrong. They're after Tower Hamlets because of what it's done right. Yeah. And I'm here because I learned a very good and very early lesson in the trade union and socialist movement. If you don't stick by the people that stick by you, you will allow the rich and powerful to run roughshod over your lives. It's a simple message, it's a clear message, and it's what's at stake in the Tory attack on Tower Hamlets. They don't like this borough because it's a borough that fights back. They don't like They don't like this borough because it won't let racists walk through the streets. They don't like this borough because it chucks out warmongers when they seek to represent them. They don't like this borough because it's not composed of working people and the poor who sit down and take it and say thank you very much to the 18 out of 23 cabinet members who are millionaires in this government. This government doesn't like a fighting borough and Tower Hamlets is a fighting borough led by a fighting council, led by a fighting What's at stake here is whether we're going to allow Eric Pickles and his band of Tory allies, that's Eric Pickles, 67,000 pounds on biscuits. <laughs> so we now know the answer to the question, who took the biscuits? Eric Pickles took the biscuits. A quarter, a half a million pounds, 500,000 pounds, £100,000 more than Eric Pickles is accusing Tower Hamlets of wrongly spending. Eric Pickles spent that on limousines. Just on limousines. Let's be clear, they are standing and staring down on us. They stare down from the glass towers in Bishopsgate and the city. And they stare down from the glass towers in Canary Wharf. These people who crashed the economy, these people who just today have been denounced for rigging the financial markets, they stare down on us and they say you don't have the right to fight back. Well, I say we do have the right to fight back. We do have, we do have the right 
do have the right to choose a council that fights back. We do have the right to choose a mayor that fights back. I am standing with you. You should stand with your council and you should organise and fight back and make sure that the Tories never dare to put another foot in this borough. Yeah. When I came in this evening, one of the councillors said to me, we're in trouble again. I said, yeah, we're in trouble again. But, you, but you've got to be in trouble with the right people. If you aren't in trouble with the Tories, you aren't doing your job. We are in trouble with the Tories. We're proud to be in trouble with the Tories. And we're going to stay in trouble with the Tories. And we're going to stand up for working people. Good luck to you.